We're here in Philadelphia to talk to students about really important issues that are going on in their communities and that might look different around the world, but they're all kind of tied together with common threads. So we're here with a team from Montreal, also connecting to the Arctic Circle and Guinea in West Africa, to talk about ways that, that those folks have organized circuses to address mental health issues and poverty issues in their communities and do something really positive about it. As young, you have a little food and you have to split. Maybe have just a bite. Iglulik is very, very young population. Lots of youth under 20 years old. Suicide affects so many people. Sometimes one person dies and then it's chain reaction, and that's very scary. In Guinea, I see the potential and all the good acrobats. I need to help them too. I was thinking I have to take care of those that we love. When I do circus, all the bad things go away. He started telling me he has his dream of going back to Guinea, start working with his brothers, and I was telling him, hey, amen. That's exactly what I'm doing in the Arctic. So we roll the film, and then the film comes up, and there they are. If you guys have thoughts about what this film made inside when you guys were watching, think about it, because we would love to have your inputs. How does it relate to your day-to-day -day life? Okay, hold on a second. Everything is possible. And that's what we need. We need to inspire each other. And through circus, that is our way, that's how we found the beauty of it. You never know what can happen, but when people get together and decide to say yes, that's so strong. Ah. Okay, your turn now. <laughs> so funny. I found it very inspiring and wonderful like what the girl over there said. Not only because you're dancing, you're flipping, but you're showing the beauty in life. Yeah. It's important to talk about Social Justice Day because mostly in school we learn about stuff that happened in the past or how it's affecting the future but we never talk about current issues that we can change and we always talk about history and the bad things but we don't actually talk about how it's still going on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I was explaining that as an artist I find that it's very beautiful that no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, we all connect in the, the beauty of Art. If you're like, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you're going through. If you're going through something, you can always channel that to something creative. Everything that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Performing, I think, uh, motivates me a lot. But for me, it's a vehicle to say something. You guys are really inspirational, and it kind of opened up my eyes to show me, like, oh, I should get more involved in my community and help around. Like, we had a lot of kids, like, coming to talk to us, like, saying, ah, oh, I really like what you guys do, you know, it's just touch me. It's, it's opened my eyes. Since now, I know it's like, uh, the world is big, you know. Having them here, it, I feel like that made people want to talk about it. You know, that's what circus <laughs> is. It's really working together. You don't perform alone. You count on the guy next to you to hold you up or to catch you when you jump across the stage into his arms, you know? 
and uh, that message really came through. They not only trusted each other, they trusted themselves to do these kind of stunts that they did, and I thought that was amazing that they can come together and do that. This is a magnet art school, and so they love the idea of using arts as a way of, you know, expressing yourself and overcoming those kinds of problems. Big here. There will be an answer that it's cool. Any form of art can change a person for the better, and it can change, like, the world. Journalism is important because if you don't document what was going on, then nobody will ever know. They need to see it. They need to see it and it be tangible to them. It's very uh, touching to see that right away they get it. They're not just amazed by the flips, but they can understand the message of hope and be who you are. Sometimes it's hard, but get together, share, and things will you'll go through. And a girl who was sitting next to me in the audience said, she said, I want to thank you for talking about suicide in the film because I have some friends right now who are struggling with that and I think this film really helped them. So it's working. We need to talk about stuff like this because it's important. Seeing these documentaries and working with the Pulitzer Center is really important. That way they can kind of expand what they know or I guess expand the world around them as well. Thank you for coming because you inspired a lot of people in the audience. They touched me. Yes. <laughs>